most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, I'm Bob Schultz, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Brad thinks Bob. he's the only one that can spin things and catch it. All right, today, we're, Brad, we're going to talk about top three ankle braces for ankle sprains or ankle pain. We're going to kind of go through from the different ones you want to use in the different situations. Mm -hmm. Now, generally, uh, with an ankle sprain, it involves the anterior talar fibular ligament, which is a ligament that runs from here to here. Can you see that, Lonnie? Yeah. Is that too far away for you? You wouldn't lie to me, Lonnie, would you? You don't look like the type that would lie. All right, it's right there, and that's the culprit. Usually you turn your ankle, and that's the one that goes under stress. Right. Quite often, you know, if you have an ankle sprain, it's a bad one, you can compare the two. You ever do that, Brad? Just have them go like this, and you right. can see the one turns more than the yep. other if it's a really bad tear. Right. Yep. So you can also get a high ankle sprain, and that can be the ligaments right up in here, right off the fibula here. Yeah, you hear him talk about that sometimes on football. Oh, he's got a high ankle sprain, right. you know. Um, All right, so let's, there's, there's three grades of sprains, and it's kind of interesting to know this, um, especially with the anterior talar fibular ligament. There's a grade one, and in that, in that case, Brad, you have a, you're having a, a, a stretching or a slight tearing of the anterior talar sure, fibular the, the, ligament. Sure, the, the ligaments are still intact. They're not ripped apart, but they're, right. they're irritated and stressed. Just a mild strain. You're going to have some tenderness, a little bit of swelling and stiffness, nothing, nothing too bad. Right. The, probably the more common one is a grade two, Brad, and that's where you have a large tear, but it's incomplete. I mean, it's not completely torn so through. So it's kind of like this. Yeah, a little, a little frayed. Torn. Uh, walking is painful. You know, this is the one you see where people are often going to have crutches. A lot of swelling. A lot of swelling, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. That's a grade two. A grade three, now, that's a complete tear. I mean, that's, that's a serious thing. Yeah, the ligament. In right that apart. case, your, your ankle is going to feel real wobbly, like it's not even going to support you. Right. It, it, and, and walking is very hard, very unstable. So you're going to choose a brace based upon what type of sprain you have right. or... Let's say you just have arthritis or a stroke or something like that. There's different braces we can use for that. Sure, just an unstable ankle for whatever reason. Right. So let's say you, you do have a grade one or a grade two sprain, Brad, and you want to go back to sports. Um, I, for a grade one, definitely you could use an elastic brace. These are like these neoprene braces. They just provide some nice support. Some of them are kind of like sleeves. Yep. And this is a brace from Yoso. I hope I'm saying it right, Y-O-S-O-O, -O -O. I'll put it down below mm -hmm. also. And uh, this is a nice brace. I, I like this one. It, it fits well. It's very adjustable, and it was cheap. <laughs> um, it was only, God, didn't I write down the price? Yeah, nine nine forty five brand. Sure. I saw it on Amazon. So a little bit difficult to understand how to put it on. So if you get one of these, follow, come back to this video, and show, I'll show you how to do it. Sure. So you're going to start off with... The yoso, this is going to be on the top part of the ankle, mm -hmm. and this part is going to be on the foot. The heel goes right into that hole there. Yep. All right? So you put it down. I'm putting my heel right into that hole. There you go. And again, the, the, one, the part that says yoso is up here. Where is it? It's over on that side. Oh, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> right there. You flipped it over. How are we doing, Lonnie? Can you see okay? All right. So we're going to go ahead and tighten that one up first. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and tighten up the lower one onto the foot. And this is where the nice extra stretch comes in and support, Brad. Sure. So yep. You just tighten this up over here like that, and you tighten this up over here like this. Makes a crisscross there. Yep. This is a nice brace. It, it, you know, it's now, again, this isn't giving a ton of support, Brad. Right. So that's why you couldn't use this with, you know, even a grade two, you may not want to use this um, if you're going back to sports. But for walking on the for flat. For walking, yes. And, and if you're just you're not a sports person, you just want to get back to the living again, right. this is a great one for that. Uh, I would wear it with a grade one sprain. Mm -hmm. But what this does, Brad, also besides giving some compression and you know, helps with swelling, sure. it gives you proprioception, increased proprioception. Right. And what is proprioception, Brad? It's the ability for your body to know where your, yeah. your limb is. is, your foot, without looking at it. So right now, I can tell, with That's my nice. eyes closed, I can tell my foot is turned in, mm -hmm. and I can tell my foot is turned out. Right. When you sprain your ankle bad, you start losing that sense of where 
you know, my ankle might start to turn and I don't know it's turning without looking at it. Right. That's why people continually sprain their ankles again and again. They lose that sense and their ankle starts to turn and they don't know it and they don't react. Right. So they get real floppy. It's not only a mechanical problem with the foot, but the nervous system needs to be tuned in as right. well. Right. And that's why people often with a sprain, I know I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, Brad, but with a sprain, when they stand on one leg like this, they're all over the place. Sure. Because their mm -hmm. proprioception is bad. This is gonna help with the proprioception. Sure. But now, if you, if this, so again, nice little brace for that, 945. If you, however, wanna go back to sports and you have a grade two sprain, mm -hmm. or maybe even a grade one, you're gonna use the ASO, right, right Brad? I, I am a big believer in ASO. As a matter of fact, this is my personal ASO. Yep, ASO, uh, Ankle Stabilizing Orthosis, I right. believe is what it stands for. Uh, they cost more. Uh, but they will do the job because I was running in a woods in a wooded area, sprained my ankle, and I wanted to get back to running competitively. So I bought an ASO. And so it's comfortable with running even, Brad? Oh, yeah. No problem at all with running. I, you know, obviously, you're not going to sprain your ankle Monday and put it on and run Tuesday or Wednesday. You've got to get through the phases of healing and, right. and get it settled down. Compression and, and but, elevation and... Can you, can you see that, Lonnie? You put it on and you lace it up. That gives you your first stage of, of support. Right. Okay. Now, so th this is not the primary reason I like this brace, but this it's comfortable. They really make right. a nice. It's going to fit really well yeah. because it is laced and it's going to fit exactly to your ankle. They do come in different sizes though, right, Brad? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, they range like from size 9 to 11. Um, Based on know. foot size? Right, exactly. Okay. The shoe size. Now, this is where the bread and butter comes in on this, this brace. And I really like it. You tuck this down. You have to do this properly. And... If it's a sprain, like we said, on the ATF ligament, you're going to go on the outside one first. And then you're going to go through here. No, nope. pardon me. <laughs> I said that wrong, Bob. We're going to go this direction. From the inside of the ankle, go over. You can tuck those in there if you'd like to, or you can get them in later. You'll see what I mean. And then you're going to come over, get the, rink, get the twists out. Sure. And right here... They have a finger loop, okay? You're gonna pull up on that. Oh, I, I did have a twist in it. No yeah, you did, I was gonna mention that, but I... I couldn't see it. Yeah. There, now the loop's on the right side, and the Velcro will stick now. You're not gonna pull this up really tight, because that's gonna stress the sprain. You just pull it up snug, and lock it down. Now this is the one that's where the bread and butter, the work, the one that's gonna save yeah, because that. when you hurt your ankle, you turn it this way. Yep. So the last strap you want to do is actually turning it the other direction. Right. Correct, right, Brad? Yep, and it's going to minimize. Turn it out this way. Good. It's going to pull this direction and eliminate the ability for it to go this way, right. protecting that injured ligament. Here and now I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull up pretty good and firm and then lock that in. And not only do they that, they give you a nice wide elastic strap with Velcro to lock both of these keep in. Those in place. Then you keep that lace in there if you don't have it in already here and up and over and get the wrinkles out of that. And even with all that, you're still able to get it in a shoe. Yep, Correct. exactly. I get it in a shoe and run a 10K. And that's what I did with it on uneven surfaces. I'm not talking about just road, but I'm, I'm running off road too. Which is it. pretty amazing because, you know, even when you fight slight things wrong with a shoe, you can sometimes get rubbing, you know, uh, from a shoe with a right. 10K race. Yep. You know, so it's, it's actually a very comfortable brace. Well, the question we get quite often, Brad, is should I wear a brace if I'm not, if I don't have an injury, like to, as prevention? And I would say no. I, I, I think it's more important for you to do the rehab, you know, or get your ankle strong sure. than it is to wear a brace as preventative. I, 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 would, I would make a couple of exceptions to that, Bob. Let's say, for example, you have an ankle, it's had a history, it's sprained two or three times, and you're going to go hiking or you're going to be running on rocky surfaces and you, there's a high risk of it being twisted. Then I might put it on. Yeah, increased proprioception. I'm talking about the person who's never hurt their ankle before. Is, yeah, uh, they, oh, I, I right, went, yeah, sure. I wouldn't wear, mm -hmm. wear one preventively. Right. So the last brace we're going to show you, Brad, is the air stirrup. 
and this is made by Aircast, and um, this is not a brace. Uh, we see a lot of these, right, right. Brad? Um, and, and you can actually put air in the panels here, and that'll actually kind of conform to your ankle bones. Yep. So it feels real comfortable. Now, these do come in lefts and rights, but mm -hmm. you can actually switch them. Yeah, um, they, they're a little forgiving. Yeah, you line up the heel here like this. I don't even know if this is a left or a right. And you put it on like that. But if it's the wrong side, you can just actually turn it around like this. Yeah. And it'll still work. Right. So. But let's, let, let's, do you have the, the little device to blow it up? Um, I don't. Okay. Sorry. So, yeah, there's a little device that blows it up. But you can strap it around like this. This, again, is not a good sport brace. This is a good brace that you maybe wear initially after an ankle injury, yeah. like maybe a pretty severe one. I've, I've got a number of physicians that refer to me that if they come in with an ankle sprain, actually the doctor will give them this sure. right from the get-go. And typically, the patients like it. They say it yeah. feels good, it gives good support, it's light, it fits in the shoe fairly good. Yeah. Um, you're not going to go running or walking long distances, but you can anyways because your ankle hurts. Right. It's a good initial uh, sprain. The other thing that I like it for, Brad, is if you have like ankle arthritis, mm -hmm. this is a good one to give, sure. give support. And it's also a good one that I like with sometimes with people with, that have had a stroke and they have a little bit of instability this way. Sure. They have enough strength to lift up their foot, yep. but they don't have enough strength to prevent it from turning. Yeah. So that I, I, I like it for that too. So we got the three braces, we got the Yoso, we got the a ASO, ASO, and we got the Air Stirrup. And uh, th those are the three that will pretty much cover almost every situation that you may run into. Now, this is actually made by Air Cast, right? Yeah, yeah. that's what I said. I already said it earlier. Oh, you did, but did yeah. you said Air Stirrup? I said Air Stirrup, Air Stirrup, but made by Air Cast. <laughs> Look back on the tape. Just clarifying, Bob, right. just clarifying.